Okay, Justin, I have your Raycon 76 finished up. I uh, just got it done. I just bound it to my radio, and I just realized that I bound it to one of my freaking quads that I fly. <laughs> uh, that pisses me off. Anyway, uh, so here it is. Turned out pretty sweet, as they all usually do. Freaking badass. I've had different kind of mixed reviews about these lately. I mean, these have been out for a long time. If you look, if you go on YouTube and search Raycon 76, you'll see tons and tons of videos of mine of these that I've built for people. And the majority of people love them. But I have seen a few people here and there. Like, I was just talking to a guy today uh, that had me build him one. And it was an aluminum one. And he was mad that he had dented one of his ducks. And I was telling him, like, bend it back and keep flying. You know, you can bend the aluminum ones back. But, uh, and the Delrin, it seems like the Delrin, it holds up pretty well. But I have also seen people crack these too. So, I don't know. I actually, uh, Plasti dipped one. You can see how thick the Plasti dip is. I mean, it's crazy thick on there. And it's not that heavy either. It, it might have added like two grams maybe. Which is worth it if, you know, I, I was squeezing the ducks and it feels like, you know, they're going to be super hard to break, way harder than without the Plasti Dip. Uh, I also doubled up the frame. So if there's anybody out there uh, looking for a Raycon 76 to get built by me, um, and you don't mind that the Plasti Dip doesn't look the greatest on here, it feels really cool, um, then I can hook you up with this, this frame. But with the doubled up carbon and the uh, four or five layers of Plasti Dip, this is going to be one tough little frame. Anyway, back to uh, Justin's here. So you have the new stack, just like same as uh, Lilith's pink one that I just did the, today. The pink Raycon 76. Uh, same stack as that. Uh, same FPV. I don't even think I mentioned it now that I think about it. I didn't even mention what it was in Lilith's Raycon 76. It's actually a Cadex Firefly. That's what I've been using lately on most of them because it works really good and it's really tiny and light. So um, I don't have any of the stick batteries, so I'm going to have to... Uh, I'll probably just do what I've done before and just um, use a rubber band. That should do just fine. Yeah, I need to stock up. I need to get a couple of uh, small 2S batteries. And I need some more uh, stick tiny wood batteries. Because I don't have either. And it really sucks to not have things that I need when I'm building quads for people. Because I really like to uh, show you guys that it works and whatnot, how it works. That should do just for a quick test flight. So I guess we'll do that first. Um, so. I already have it bound up to my radio. The receiver is right here, same as the pink one. If you didn't watch that video, it's right here in the back. You can do the same as the other one. Grab it with something and slide it out if you need to, just to make it easier to get to the bind button. I mean, look, the bind button's right there. It's just so easy to get to. Um, you could almost just use your finger if you wanted to. But slightly push on that button. You'll hear it click. Just like that. Okay, bind it up to your radio. Slide it back in when you're done. And it'll stay there. Don't worry about that. Um, I uh, hope these batteries stay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so bind it up. D16 mode. It's an XM. I did flash this one as well for RSSI. And I did set up RSSI in your OSD. So that's all good to go. The flight controllers flash to the newest beta flight, 3.5.1. Uh, I set up flight modes for you. I put angle, horizon, and air mode. Air mode's always on. I put angle, horizon, and acro. And air mode is always on. So let's do a little test hover real quick. I haven't flown this one yet. Uh, this one also has reverse props. So let's here we go. All right. 
Oh yeah. God, I love flying these things. Battery's dead. <laughs> um, I don't remember if I set up the uh, minimum and warning voltage. But yeah, these batteries are dead, damn it. It's barely even showing up. This one has a little bit. 3.7. This one's completely dead, though. Yeah, you can't even read what it says. Alright. Ah, oh, shit. I wonder if it'll still let me show the video. Dang it. I guess I should charge my batteries before I do these videos. I've had that problem for years. Let's just see if I can get a picture real quick with these dead batteries. I'll try to arm it before the battery dies and show you that that has RSSI. So you can probably see it there. <laughs> you might have also noticed that it was saying land now. <laughs> because the battery's dead. So I guess I did set up the voltage. Ugh. So, um, yeah, you saw on the OSD it says land now, so I set it up. I usually do warning at 3.1 volts and uh, minimum at 2.9, which is perfect for when you're flying when it's under load. 2.9 is real good uh, minimum because when you land, you know, and you unplug the batteries, the voltage goes back up a little bit and it ends up being around 3.6 or so which is good you don't want to get them too low so 3.6 is about my lowest that I like to have my batteries go but it's not always the case <laughs> as you can see this one one of these is completely drained so anyway you can see it flies really nice I love flying these so much man I gotta build myself one um, yeah flying really good You got your RSSI, your OSD, battery voltage. Uh, you got the new Raycon 40 millimeter props. Um, I will conformal coat this as well before I send it out. And uh, yeah, the mail's already came today, so I'll have to ship it tomorrow. But I'll uh, send you over some tracking before that. Um, so I think that's about it. Yeah, uh, arm is on auxiliary one. Uh, flight mode's auxiliary two, and beeper oh I forgot about the beeper I put that on auxiliary 4 so you set that up in your radio for auxiliary 4 and let's make sure that's working ah it's just resetting damn it well anyway it should be working it's it's set up so uh, yeah auxiliary 4 for the beeper 2 for flight modes and 1 for arm all right, thanks, Justin. Um, yeah, that's all I got.